What media containers are you running on your home server? Here's my list of the top five must-have media containers for Unraid. Before we get started, I decided to add in a bonus one at the end of the video. Stick around to find out what it is. Starting at number one, we've got Plex. Let me explain if you've been living under a rock and don't know what Plex is. Plex is the cord cutters version of Netflix and Hulu combined. Your media is stored on your home server, and Plex streams it out for you. With support for movies, television shows, music, photos, and more, Plex has over 600 free streaming channels. It has an intuitive and beautiful interface. This one is a must. Check this out from Invoca.tv. According to this, U.S. cord cutting statistics, 46.6 million households in the United States are expected to cut cords in 2024. Comparatively, 24.6 million households reported cutting their pay TV cords in the United States. That's an increase of 89.43% in the number of households that are expected to cut their pay TV cords in 2024 compared to 2019. Number two is Sonar. According to Sonar's website, it's a television show manager that has built-in support for renaming files and full metadata for the show in each episode. It has a calendar view to show you all of your upcoming episodes in one location. Manual search, automation of failed downloads, and monitoring and fetching higher quality episodes when they become available. According to a recent survey, the majority, 58%, said watching TV shows at home is now their top pastime. Per Nielsen data, American viewers averaged nearly eight hours watching streaming shows during the lockdowns, but just 12 minutes watching movies. Note, that figure is down to three hours a day, but it demonstrates that TV show viewing far surpasses movies. Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. On to number three, radar. Radar is to movies as sonar is to television. Like sonar, radar handles the back end management of file renaming metadata retrieval with a beautiful interface. I did some research and found this statistic. It's kind of crazy. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description to these sites so you can check out the facts yourself. But according to TVInstallation1.com, it says when Netflix's DVD rental service was at its best, it had over 100,000 titles in its library with a selection few neighborhood video stores could match. This enormous catalog was a paradise for casual viewers and movie buffs alike. But check this out. Less than 4,000 movies are available on Netflix at any given moment these days. This indicates a considerable decline in the titles available, making up less than 5% of the enormous DVD inventory it had initially offered. That's crazy. On to number four, LiDAR. As you probably guessed, it's in the R family of applications. LiDAR is a music collection manager for Usenet and BitTorrent users. It can monitor multiple RSS feeds for new albums from your favorite artists, and will interface with clients and indexers to grab, sort, and rename them. It can also be configured to automatically upgrade the quality of existing files in the library when a better quality format becomes available. It's kind of a fantastic program. If you're into music, LiDAR is a must have for you. And with PlexAmp, you'll have a solid music app as well. And here's another little stat for you. From explodingtopics.com, to music streaming stats for 2024. Music streaming has completely changed the music industry. I think we all know that. In fact, the vast majority of music listeners now rely on music streaming platforms. Music streaming makes up 84% of the music industry revenue. Like I said, I'll leave a link to this article and you can go and check this stuff out. It's, it's kind of crazy. And this graph here alone is, is kind of nuts. 2005, it was $0.1 billion in revenue. Look at it down here in 2022, $17.5 billion. That's a crazy growth rate. And just so you know, I'll leave links in the description to my videos on Plex, Sonar, Radar, and LiDAR. That way, if you want to check them out, they're there for you. And while you're down there, why don't you subscribe if I've given you some value. Number five is Kavita. Kavita is lightning fast with a slick design. Kavita is a rocket field self-hosted digital library that supports a vast array of file formats. It has built-in PDF and EPUB readers so you can enjoy your digital books and comics. With user and library management, you can share your server with your friends. They've got a demo on their website. Let's go check that out. Here's a sample of their interface. It's got comic book support and ebook support. Let's check out this comic book here. We'll click onto it. We'll go into an issue. You can read a page, jump to the next page, read that one. Just cycle right on through them. If we go back here and look at a regular book, let's go with, oh, Alice in Wonderland. I think we're all familiar with that one. There you go. You can just click through the pages. You can drag them over. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but right up in the corner here, it says it's at 58 of 64. And if you get out, I'll go back to the top here. It shows you the progress bar on it, so it remembers your place. So if you go back in later on, 
you just pick back up right where you left off. It's kind of fantastic. And if you're interested in a few statistics, I found some for eBooks as well. Over at wordsrated.com, I had found the number of eBooks sold per year. With 191 million books being sold in 2020, that's up 12.35% from 2019. Now that is pandemic time, so there's some you know, adjustments there. And down below it says the number of eBooks sold in the first half of 2021 is down 8% from the first half of 2020, but they're still 8% higher than they were prior to the pandemic in 2019. In the last decade, saw the number of eBooks sold per year nearly triple from 69 million in 2010 to 191 million in 2020. And that finishes up the top five list. But I said I'd have a bonus one for you, and I do, and it's called Audio Bookshelf. Audio Bookshelf is a self-hosted audiobook and podcast server. Store your audiobooks on your home server and stream them or download them to your smartphone on the go with the Audio Bookshelf app for Android or iOS. And once again, over on Words Rated, let's see what they have to say about the audiobook market. Audiobooks are the fastest growing format in the publishing industry and will be the driving force behind the growth of book publishing over the next decade. Even during the pandemic year, when print books were leading the industry growth, audiobooks still grew by over 10%. The global audiobook market is worth over $5.3 billion and is projected to reach $35 billion by 2030. This means that the audiobook market will grow by 26.4% every year over the next seven years. By 2030, the projections show that audiobooks will account for over 21.3% of the global book publishing revenue. Check out these audiobook listening habits. Over 23% of Americans listened to at least one audiobook in 2021, 15% more than in 2020. Over the last 10 years, the share of U.S. adults who listen to audiobooks has grown by more than 100%. It's kind of a big number. What are your thoughts? Did I lose something off the list? If so, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, why not watch one of these?